What's up guys, this is Jamani here. So today's video is gonna be about painting my new vlogging wall. If you guys watched my videos before, I've been switching my vlogging area a lot of times now. Lah. So since I've decided to focus in making more videos this year, I wanted a nice background. After a few days of research, I found this picture on Google that I really really like. So I decided to take it as an inspiration and do it to my wall. At first, Alicia said this color is too girly. So sexy. So initially I wanted to paint the wall in shades of purple but ultimately I really like the shade of mean green more. So I decided to paint both of my walls with the help of Alicia. It took us 3 days to complete because we were busy at certain time of the day lah so we cannot finish it in one day. Plus we are like painting noobs so we had to learn along the way and watching some DIY YouTube videos really helped us a lot. And oh yeah, spoilers alert, this is not a comedy video so don't expect to laugh please unless you think our pro painting skills is laughable. L U L. So what color did we choose? We bought 7 1 liter paint. Here is the 7 color that I chose and I didn't really like the second color in the same family so I chose the darker one so that the gradient will look nicer. I started with a smaller wall because there's actually two walls. Here is where my godlike mathematic genius skills come in to play, I measured the wall with the decision that each color is gonna have to be one foot thick. Next, I used painter's tape to tape the edges because we want to avoid painting the parts that we don't want to. And the first coat that you want to paint is primer. Yes, the wall also need primer, not only our face. Primer is basically a coat where it will allow the color that you want to paint to be on its full potential, means it will look nicer and it will make the color last longer, I think. I told you I was a noob. Anyway, after painting, allow it to dry for one hour. Oh my god, I feel like I'm doing a voiceover for a cooking show. L U L. After painting, allow it to dry for one hour. Mm. <laughs> I started on the left side of this wall and make sure that the waves repeat to the right. The reason why I started on the left is because I wanted it to sync with the other wall which is on the left side of this wall so that the waves connect on both walls and it will look like a perfect wave. See? Joseph Smart. L-U-L. Next, we decided to start with the bottom first. Again, we put painter's tape on the wall. As you can see, I'm measuring while we are putting on the tape. It's more advisable to actually measure first before putting the tape. Anyway, after that, paint the colour on. Again, because there's a design, we use painter tape to make sure that it's clean and neat and that we don't paint the colour on the other side that we're not supposed to. After painting, wait for 2 hours for it to dry, paint another coat after that, wait for another 20 minutes and you're done. It's time to remove the tape. A lot of experts on YouTube said that it's the best to peel the tape when the paint is still wet to avoid the paint cracking with the tape if it's too dried up. This part is probably the best part of the whole painting process. It feels like every tape you remove, you'll see an achievement. Okay, time to work on the next wave slash color. I'm gonna put on the music now and let the time lapse show you the rest that we have done because what's happening next is kind of the same thing and I really don't want to repeat the whole thing again. If you guys have any questions about how to paint your own wall, feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below and the paint god aka me will reply you. L-U-L. Alright, music time. Ooh. 